Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Food Truck Entrepreneur by Go Venture Games. This is a one to four player game for ages eight and up, and it takes roughly 30 to 45 minutes to play. In the game Go Venture, a food truck entrepreneur, you are basically playing as a food truck owner. You are going to be purchasing your food truck and of course gathering food and sending it out into the park. You'll be basically having people buy your food and then you'll return back to the bank. The bank is going to generate you funds from the people purchasing. You'll go to the market to gather more food. You'll go to the food bank to deposit certain types of food if you want to gain money that way. And your objective is to gain experience based on who you serve food to, how many times you donate to the food bank, and where you travel along your way, you'll gain experience. Once a player hits 10 experience, the game is over, and if you're able to basically donate the most food and feed the most people at the end of the game, you're going to be the winner. We'll talk about how to set the game up, how to play, and then of course, my review. To begin a game of Food Truck Entrepreneur, the first thing you'll do is determine the number of players in the game. If you're just playing with two players or one player, you're gonna have two clothes for construction uh, sites on the main game board. You'll choose these cards and place them down on the downtown district and the industrial district. And so there's only going to be the park available to you. However, don't worry, throughout the game, you're going to be removing one of them and that is going to allow you to basically be able to move to different locations to sell the people as opposed to just one. Each player is going to gather a food truck, which is going to be a different type of food and their color, and place it down on the garage space. All four, up to four players, can be placed on this location. You're also going to take the traffic cone and place it on the top food bank space. It's going to be a purple highlighted area. Additionally, for each player playing, go ahead and take one of your food tokens and place it on the start space on the XP track. Place the two dice in the middle of the game board, and then time to give people their stuff. Each player is going to get an employee. It's a $1 employee, and they're also going to be getting a loan. The loan is going to be for $12, it's the principal, and you are basically going to pay this back throughout the game. It's going to be what you paid for your food and, of course, your truck and anything else you need at the beginning. Each player is going to start with $6 and six of their type of food on their market card. It'll tell you your market card will tell you your price of selling stuff, their purchasing costs, and, of course, your truck costs. Each player is also going to be getting six food that they can use in their storage. So that's where you're going to be taking the food and placing them onto your market card when you purchase them. And each player is going to have their own unique type of foods. Once you have the main game set up and everybody has their money, their food, their access food, their employee, and their loan, go ahead and set the rest of the money and any cards that you might be utilizing as far as references off to the side, as well as, of course, the employee deck and the action deck. Then you're ready to begin the game. Food Truck Entrepreneur is played in rounds, and on a round, each player is going to get a turn. And on your turn, you're going to follow the card here. On the card, it tells you on your turn, you may do these actions in the order shown. The first thing is you can play one or more action cards. These green cards are action cards, and you'll be able to gather them from food banks. Uh, these cards can uh, have a variety of different things you can do with them, whether it be steal another player's action card randomly, or maybe it's to tow another truck to the garage, which is basically back to start, or perhaps stop any dirty trick, thief, or garage card that can be played against you, and so on and so forth. These are the cards that you can use at the beginning of your turn, and you can use as many as you would like. The next thing you can do is buy XP by paying $8 to the bank. Uh, only once per turn though. So if you have an extra $8, you can turn that into the bank and then you can move up once on the EXP track. Uh, and then finally, you can go ahead and move your truck and do the actions for the locations of where it stops. To move your truck, you'll take both dice, you will roll those die, you will select one of the two, and then you will move that many or less spaces. So I rolled a one and a four, I can move up to four spaces, I'm playing as yellow, so I can go, I'll start from the garage, I'll move to the adjacent space, and then I can move anywhere I want along the game board one space at a time. I can't backtrack, however, on the same turn, but I can stop early if I want to. So I can go one, two, three, and four. Once I have stopped, that's going to be it. I can choose to stop on other locations and they'll provide different actions. And there's a variety of different actions you can take in the game. The first one is bank actions. This is the middle space in the game board or on the circle. It's on the left, right hand side. You can collect money from the bank for each customer you've served over here at the park or the industrial or downtown districts. You can move serve food to the market. Uh, you're also able to pay bills. You can pay money to the bank for the truck, employees, loan, and interest. That's what you're going to be doing whenever you hit the bank space. There is an interest cost on your loan, which is $3. Each of your employees is going to have a cost as well. 
And you're going to need to be paying these as well as your truck cost every time you hit the bank. So whenever you turn your, basically you get gain your profits, you have to pay a certain amount for having uh, all this stuff that you're utilizing throughout the game. Optionally, you can also repay your loan principal, which is $12 to just get rid of that loan altogether. And you can change employees. Now there are different employees in the game and you'll be basically be taking this deck here. You can um, go ahead and choose if you'd like to gain something different, but they're gonna have a cost to them associated when you utilize them. This one is one speed, which means when you roll two dice and you get a three and a four, you choose the four, this gives it a plus one, it's now up to five. Um, and so on and so forth. Speed four, you can always have at least four, et cetera, et cetera. You can change employees whenever you want, but the cost is going to be higher. Um, another space that you can utilize is a market space. A market space is on the uh, left hand side of the game board and basically you can go ahead and buy food and place it on your business card. You start with six and you're only able to place up to six on your business card and you have a reserve of nine that you can utilize. Your truck can't carry more than six food and you can remove the first construction card, the one on the industrial space, as soon as one player does this. So this space is only locked up for a four player game up until this happens. There's also a food bank space. There's actually many of them all along the table. And what they do is when you're passing by or stopping, you can donate a food and you can purchase an action card. Action cards are over here so, uh, sitting in a deck that you can go ahead and purchase when you move through a food bank. And also you can donate food there, which after a certain number of food, you can turn them in and gain XP. And then of course, there is the last and main action space. This is the downtown district, the park. It's called the big tip space. When you get to these locations, you can donate your food to the customers. When you do so, check to see what types of food they like. And if you're able to donate to all of the certain types of customers, then you're going to be able to turn them in for a big tip. You'll actually gain bonus money when you do so. This is the main way you're gonna process the game, going to the location, giving each of those like, characters food. And then when you either get to three of the same type or five of any, you go back to the bank and then you will make the money from those players. And that's how you're gonna generate more income to get more food. And yeah, you're just gonna rinse and repeat. So on your turn, you will do exactly what the card says. You're going to basically be playing your action cards, paying for experience if you want, and moving your truck and taking any of the actions on the spaces here. A few little caveats too. There's the cater event. This is a space that kind of functions like the free parking space in Monopoly, where it's where you're gonna be placing a lot of the money that gets, gets uh, donated in certain ways. And then you also have this cone space. Whenever a player moves to a cone space, they can't move through it, they have to actually stop. And then of course, finally, the close for construction spaces. When they're closed, you can't go to them. In a two player game, there's only one space open. And then in like a three or four player game, the space will be the only one blocked up until it is opened up. And otherwise, that's basically the idea of the game, moving from one location to another, taking actions and functioning as a food truck, up entre food truck entrepreneur. Okay, so before we just get to my full review, I wanna kind of explain how food works. Basically getting my truck over to the downtown area. Um, as an action, basically for these spaces, you roll two dice. Then, based on what you roll, will determine what people that you can serve. I roll a one and a six, so I could choose Tyrell or Valencio for the one category, and for the six, I can choose Sonia or Lily, and I can place my food from my space here onto those characters. Um, there's a few rules as to how serving works. If you serve the three of your type, you get an experience. If you serve any five, you get an experience. And if you're able to serve three of this of any specific one type, you'll get an extra $2. It's called a big tip. So it doesn't matter if it's hot dogs, hamburgers, or fries, it doesn't really matter as long as it's three of the same type. So your same type, experience. Five of any, experience. And three of the same type, that's going to generate you $2. Um, and if you roll doubles, it's kind of interesting too, you can choose to serve two sixes, for instance, if you roll two sixes, or one of any of the types that you want. So you don't have to pay them anything, you're just determining who you can serve based on how you roll the dice. Uh, that being said, this game is about food service, collecting certain spaces, or moving to certain spaces, collecting food, and giving those players food. Rolling the dice, determining who's going to be getting fed, and always note that you don't have to move on your turn. If you need to stay in the downtown space for an extra action, and you can, on your next turn, you roll the four and a three, you can go ahead and place these on the four and the three space, and then maybe you need to stay again, in which case you could roll again, and you could serve again. Maybe you only wanna serve one to a one, that's five, that's gonna generate you that XP that you need. You can go back to the bank, 
turn them in and score some much needed money, which then you're going to need to go to the market to buy food to place them back on the space. This is kind of a pick up and deliver type game with the options and main competitive, competitive, comp competitiveness being that each player is vying for certain types of customers in certain areas. There's a limited reserve of how many customers are available and where you choose to place can determine how fast another player moves up on the XP marker. What's also cool about this game as well is that you can play a multitude of different variations. Sometimes if you would like to play, you can actually have it so that you can like basically beep beep whenever you move through another player's space. If you guys don't say beep beep at the same time, somebody's gonna take some type of penalty. Uh, you can play the double XP mode, which is a nice way for the first time in the game that you're playing, where whenever you score an experience, instead you're going to be scoring two, which will help you move up on this track a little bit faster. Um, and of course, how you want to use the food bank donation, you can kind of switch that up as well. Um, uh, if you want to, you can also, in later games, choose to move the clothes for construction space into a different location, kind of mixing and matching it up. But overall, everybody basically starts with the same thing. They start with the same employees and the same food truck, and while the food is different colors, they function the same way. And how you can mix things up is by purchasing employees, but these things cost money. Additionally, if you want to get rid of your loan principal and just pay that off so you don't have to worry about the interest every turn, it might be beneficial, but you will lose out on valuable resources that you can use to feed the customers in the different locations to gain more money. Do you want a slow start with uh, less interest and a, uh, a buildup, or do you want a really fast start and you're gaining lots of money, but you're also having to pay a lot more out based on your employees and that loan principal slash interest that you're accruing every single round? There are really cool action cards in the game. They all function kind of like a take that type of a game where you're going to be utilizing things to stop and discard action cards played by players. Uh, some cards will actually have multiple actions you can choose, whether, whether it's like you can drive your truck to any location and pay another player a dollar, or siphon gas from another player's truck and choose them to miss a turn, which is a little bit nasty. But luckily, at least, I'm not a big fan of losing turns, but there is quite a few action cards that will stop you from having to deal with that by maybe you can like, oh, stop their action with another action card. So it's kind of like a risk reward type thing where if you don't get action cards when everybody else is, you're under threat of losing a turn. So it's not as random as mainly those other type of action card games are where I drew a card, you lose a turn, that sucks for you. No, you had the opportunity to get action cards to prevent yourself from losing the turn and you chose not to. Yes, there's still some, of course, luck involved to it, but at least it has that going for it. It is a roll and move worker, uh, slightly worker placement as far as these areas go and pick up deliver type game. It's very straightforward. This is kind of a mix of like an educational game, uh, explaining how a food truck or slash entrepreneurial like food ownership business kind of works and all the details that follow, having to go to the market, having to go to the bank, having to pay off loans, and having to choose and find customers and ones that want to actually eat your food. And otherwise it takes longer and you get paid less when you choose other customers. And of course, the different actions that happen along the way, whether it be just different things of road rage or like action cards that take place, it does all that in a little game and it works really, really well. This is what I would say a very light to very medium lightweight type of a game. This is great for kids. This is great for people who want to learn a little bit how, of how economy type things work and loans and all that kind of stuff. And it makes it fun. All the different foods are really cool. You have fries and you have uh, tacos, ice cream and hot dogs. And it all makes sense for a food type vendor. And each of the trucks are different as well. Um, I like it. It's a fun little game. This is probably my favorite game from um, Go Venture so far that I've played. It has a lot of really cool little aspects to it. All of it feels a little bit classic but it's all modernized to where I don't feel like I'm forced in any one decision. And being able to roll two dice and choose one is great. I never feel like my turns are completely wasted. And even the paper money is nicer than like most other types of paper money, but it is still paper money and I wish it wasn't paper money. Um, overall, that's pretty much all I have to say about the game. I, I enjoy it. I like the aspect of educational value. It's great for kids and overall, it's a fun experience. But for those of you who want something a little more deeper, a little more grindier, something that's a little bit more heavy in pickup delivery, this probably won't be for you. But for everybody else, check out the game Food Truck Entrepreneur. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer, a board gamer review for the game Food Truck Entrepreneur by Go Event. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the description. And if you would like as well, you can go ahead and check the website, unfilteredgamer.com. Blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter, listen more. We have a live stream on Sunday and we have a live stream on Wednesday, 6 30 p.m. PST. Sunday is everywhere and Wednesday is on whatnot. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to having you visit my food truck at the park next time. <laughs>